what happens to us generally. We have a painful emotion, so let's just write down pain. Then what we want to do is we don't want to feel our pain, so we suppress our pain. So what happens then is we have a tendency to get, so we stop crying there, because we're sick and tired of doing that, and we get into this state, or annoyance, or frustration. And then, particularly if I'm a woman, I'm not allowed to do that either, right? That's not very feminine, is it? To get angry all the time, right? Get criticised for that. And what happens when you're around men, when you're angry? Well, of course, most men are angry too, right? So what do they do? They just yell and scream back, you know? So we start doing this with that as well. And what happens then? We start getting into this state. Now we're starting to shut down all emotion. We're trying to keep ourselves away from all emotion. And you can, when you shut down your underlying emotion, you will create another state. And the top state is that a spell numb? Yeah. <laughs> is that you just become totally numb to your entire existence. Now, if you've, done, if you've done that, what's happened is you've probably firstly gone through these states in your life, not coped with them and not dealt with the underlying emotion, and then put <coughs> another cap on top of each one. Right? Now, we can undo all of that. You can undo all of that. You don't have to stay in these states. But it requires some bravery and some courage. And the way we get bravery and courage is the same way we get most other things I find, and that is via my connection with God. That's how I get it. Because right? in myself, I'm not very brave and I'm not very courageous. But it's my connection with God and my connection with truth that makes me brave or courageous. And the same will apply with yourself. How much of a love of truth do you have inside of your heart? That's what's going to actually open this back up. So what we want to do is get back down... Get back down, get back down, and then we start feeling <coughs> this underlying thing that we don't even know probably is there at the moment. And that underlying thing might be this really big feeling that I should never have been born, or an underlying feeling that I'm just totally unworthy to even exist, or any of those kinds of emotions. That's probably what's created all of that in the beginning. And all I need to do is experience that, just like a child, without judgement, the child doesn't judge itself when it goes kicking and screaming on the floor, does it? No? No? Like when it's doing this, that's not a thing. <laughs> it doesn't care how embarrassed you are. Does it? No, no. So, so why do you care when you're feeling an emotion of that judgement? Why do you want to do that? It's because of all the judgements that have been placed on you. It's because of all of this conditioning <coughs> that you've had through your life, right? So. When you get into that childhood anger, you'll feel like just kicking and screaming on the floor and cacking a tantrum. And the kids will say, oh, I'm so glad she's now cacking a tantrum just on the floor instead of smacking me behind the ears, right? <laughs> or I'm so glad she's cracking a tantrum on the floor and if it's your husband instead of yelling and screaming at me, right? The truth is when you fully own and experience your own emotion, what happens is everyone around you doesn't have to experience it. The instant you choose, to not experience your own emotion, it affects every single living thing and every single inanimate object around you. Right. And I'm not just saying right in here in Bathurst, I'm saying in the universe. Your energy that you're holding on to inside of yourself affects the entire universe. 